What's up guys, this is Chris from AndroidPit.com. Today we're unboxing the LG G Flex 2. Quite literally unboxing. Just thought you might like to take a look at how seriously LG take their international shipping packaging. So stick with us and we'll get to the guts in a minute. All right, so this is the G Flex 2. Now, we won't be able to show you too much of this today, so you'll have to stay tuned for our full video review uh, in a few days. But this is what you'll be seeing if you pick yourself up a G Flex 2 when it hits the market officially. So it's kind of a, a nice, uh, nice box. It's got the same cool uh, circular pattern that we've got on the back. And there it is, there's the G Flex 2, uh, which you may remember from our coverage at CES earlier this year. So there's the, the funky new back with the, uh, with the improved self-healing uh, battery cover. Um, we can't show you too much of the insides of it today, but let's have a look in the box and see what else you get. Okay, so pretty standard, looks a lot like the G3 packaging. We've got some manuals there. Some app memorabilia. Okay, we have some Pod B2 headphones. I think that's the actually the exact same ones from the, the G3. We've got a black USB charging cable, and what do you know, a USB adapter for the wall. That's it, nothing else in there. So you can pop all this back in, and let's have a quick look at the phone itself. So, that's the one, we've got the uh, Flamenco Red, which is actually my personal favorite. I kind of really like this color. So where's the, let's pop the back off. We've obviously got our battery already uh, inserted. So again, you can see the curve of the G Flex 2 is not quite as pronounced, I think, as the original G Flex, but still quite noticeable. We've got our uh, battery is uh, actually non-removable this time around, but you can see you've got your slots for the cards there. So we'll put this back on and we shall fire it up. Of course, the thing everybody wants to see first is the flexing capabilities. So you can see it flexes quite fine. So that's not a whole heap of pressure either. Um, it's enough. <laughs> so if you've got this in your back pocket and you sit on it, no problems. LG also did this cool chemical uh, sort of baked in chemical coating thing to the Gorilla Glass on the front, especially on the corners. So it's more shock absorbent as well as being much, much stronger in the corners. So let's turn it on and see what we have. So we'll show you the boot animation. As I said, we can't actually show you too much of the interface. You'll have to tune back in in a few days for that along with our full uh, review of the G Flex 2. But for now, we can show you the boot animation. You can see just how fast it fires up. We'll bring you a scratch test and some speed tests and that kind of thing in video form as well in the very near future. So it looks like we've got a bit of an Android update there, but this shouldn't take too long. And then we will be good to go. In the meantime, I'm going to pull the plastic off the front because who doesn't love doing that really? If I can get my fingers in there. Oh, that's the best part of any new phone. So when I first saw this at CES, I was pretty impressed. It looks pretty fantastic, I have to say. The, um, the design of the G Flex 2 is a lot better than I thought it was in the original G Flex. As you can probably see, it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet on the back. Um, Self-healing may be much more advanced technologically, but it's still a bit of a fingerprint magnet. But what are you gonna do? Maybe there's not much uh, in it when you're dealing with uh, self-healing. So let's do a quick scratch test. I'm kind of always dying to do this, so. so there we go. Let's see if that clears up. Hmm. Doesn't look too like it's doing too much. Anyway, we'll come back to that in a minute. We've got some updating action going on. I don't know how good your foreign language skills are, but mine are not good enough. Mm. I wonder if I've done some damage that can't be fixed by the self-healing cover. Okay, we'll come back to that again in a second. Let's see how we go here. So we won't be able to show you much more than what we've shown you already. The rest of that will come in our full uh, review of the G Flex 2 coming up in the very near future. 
Till then guys, stay tuned to Android Pit and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss anything on the G Flex 2 and everything else coming up at MWC 2015.